we're in Seminole County, Florida, and um, we're getting ready for the grand opening of a Seminole County sports complex. It's 15 field complex, but nine of the 15 fields are actually large enough that the outfields can be used for, um, for rectangular sports as well. Um, and those nine fields have synthetic turf. Um, and all 15 fields are, are lighted with the Musco LED sports lighting. We have several parks. As a matter of fact, our, our entire park system has uh, Musco lighting. Um, Musco and, and the other vendors have come out with the LED lighting. When you see the results of the LED lighting on these fields, um, it's pretty self-explanatory why anybody would go with those lights. Um, matter of fact, I'm not sure why anybody would use any other type of sports lighting. Our participants love the product. Uh, we love it from a management perspective. It's saving us money in, in uh, our electrical costs. Um, we're, we're expecting on this complex probably um, somewhere in the neighborhood of as much as $50,000 a year in, in savings. Typically when you're building close to an airport, you, you, you have to take into consideration the height of the poles, the lighting, the uplighting, and, and, and that sort of thing. Um, and the closer you get to the airport runway, obviously, the, the more consideration that is. Um, because of our proximity and, and the way we've built and designed this, um, we're literally neighbors to um, the airport. The lighting itself, by the time you leave our fields and are on the airport property, you, you don't really even notice that there's lights on on this complex. Even the uplighting that, that Musco uses for the LED lighting um, doesn't have a glare into the sky. And the airport has, has been a great partner with us and said, hey, listen, we, we, we welcome you next door and, and are excited to have us here. Uh, Musco has been an incredible partner through the entire process. Everything from, from the electrical um, to providing the lighting to, to making sure that it was that it was spot on correct when it was installed. Um, controlling is great. The, the ease of, of the use and, and the control um, is, is just phenomenal. And, and of course, from a staff perspective and, a, and an end user perspective, to be able to have that kind of control, 15 fields, to be able to turn any of the fields on, to be able to, to, to um, control when they come on, when they go off, and, and not have to worry about walking out to a field and flipping a switch. Um, to be able to have that kind of control is, is just is incredible. And, and of course, the time, saving, time savings for staff. In the long run, it'll certainly help us with our electrical uh, cost, being able to manage uh, when the lights are on. The one thing I would tell parks and recreation professionals when you're looking for sports lighting is, is do your homework. Know, know what's on the market, know who's on the market, know what the warranties are, know what, know, know what the product is you're buying, know, know who's standing behind your product. Um, price isn't always the, the, shouldn't always be the determining factor. You want to make sure that you're getting quality, especially in parks and recreation, especially in government. Um, it's not just about, you know, spending a dollar. It's about spending the dollar the most responsible way. We, we went through that process. Um, it, it was great to have Musco as a partner coming into this. Um, again, we did our homework. We, we looked at what was out there on the market. We, we loved the product. Um, the pricing was good. The, the warranty is good. The manufacturing of the product, um, all aspects of it, um, it has, has been a really incredible experience. And, and I would... I would certainly recommend uh, a Musco product to anybody that was looking for sports lighting. And from my perspective uh, as the owner, everything was as, as smooth as I could have possibly wanted it to be.